I always knew that I would set a big part of the missing sister in Ireland, the land of my birth. I've lived in both North and South, and the wild beauty of the island, its nature and coastline stays with me wherever I go. Ireland is probably best known for the warmth of its people. Wherever you go, there's a hello and a smile of welcome. Yet behind that warmth lies hundreds of years of turbulent history. Occupation, famine, emigration and war. To tell the whole story would take another series of books, so I decided to focus on the War of Independence fought just over 100 years ago, when simple farmers rose up to fight their British oppressors. On paper it was a war that couldn't be won. The British army had the resources to squash the young men who had only handled pitchforks before, not rifles. Yet somehow, through communities pulling together and the sheer tenacity of the Irish dreaming of being the masters of their own land, they managed to force a truce. It's 100 years since Michael Collins arrived back in Ireland with a document that would eventually lead to Ireland becoming a republic. This victory was totally due to the men and women who fought to the death to reclaim their country. The women, the unsung heroines, as they risked their lives to transport guns and ammunition to their men, as well as supplies of clean laundry. All of this whilst running their farms and looking after their children. As for the missing sister, the six girls had been left an address in New Zealand and an unusual emerald ring shaped like a star, with all of them desperate to find her before they set sail down to Greece to lay a wreath where they believe their father was buried. They all join forces. Their journey takes them across the world, but it seems the missing sister does not want to be found.